hello guys welcome all to our channel biobook today i am going to explain about a topic that is anaerobic respiration it is also called as fermentation right and we know that glucose whenever it enters respiration first it undergoes glycolysis that is actually called as partial oxidation of glucose molecule right which takes place in cytoplasm and the result of glycolysis is the production of pyruvic acid molecules how many pyruvic acid molecules two pyruvic acid molecules and each pyruvic acid molecule consists of three carbons right and glucose consists of six carbons so here if you see glucose molecule it in a series of steps it undergoes partial oxidation and finally produce pyruvic acid how many pyruvic acid molecules two pyruvic acid molecules okay and this pyruvic acid molecule whenever there is no oxygen that means oxygen is not available to the pyruvic acid then it is not able to enter mitochondria to undergo complete oxidation by the process of krebs cycle so it will be there only in cytoplasm so next it is going to participate only in partial oxidation that means pyruvic acid undergoes again partial oxidation in cytoplasm when when there is no oxygen right so pyruvic acid it um, converts into ethanol and which gives which uh, along with carbon dioxide molecule right this is called as alcoholic fermentation alcohol ethanol that means ethyl alcohol is producing here for the conversion of this energy is also required that is nadh plus h plus enters and it is released into nad plus and here two enzymes are the very important enzymes and those are pyruvic decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase are the two main enzymes which helps in the conversion of pyruvic acid to ethanol right and uh, in some other uh, microorganisms or uh, like uh, in other uh, muscles uh, muscles whenever we are doing vigorous exercise lactic acid is formed in our muscles right so there what happen pyruvic acid converts into lactic acid it is also partial oxidation here also nadh plus h plus is utilizing right energy requiring here also and the name of the enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase okay so this is about anaerobic respiration but actually here what is the energy how much energy is producing at the end of anaerobic respiration only two atp molecules right why because in glycolysis we know two atps and two nadh plus h plus are producing finally right and those nadh plus h plus are utilizing here that's why no nadh plus h plus r remain at the end of this fermentation or anaerobic respiration only two atp molecules are there and that is the net gain of energy in the process of anaerobic respiration right so this is about anaerobic respiration right thank you so much